The Russian summer offensive in Ukraine is progressing as expected, with the Russians using relentless pressure to wear down Ukrainian forces. NATO leaders pledged support for Ukraine, but did not offer membership or a timeline. The upcoming U.S. presidential election could shift the U.S.'s support, from openly supporting the war to advocating for a negotiated settlement. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky is considering peace talks with Vladimir Putin, aiming to consolidate their gains and force Ukraine to take casualties or retreat. Recent public opinion polling by the Ukraine think tank Razumkov Center indicates that the Ukrainian population is becoming pessimistic about the war, with 44% supporting peace talks and 21% undecided. However, 83% of the population opposes Ukraine retreating from the unoccupied Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia regions, suggesting that the Russian-occupied parts of these regions are open to negotiations. The polls also show that Ukrainians are strongly opposed to enforcing neutrality or non-nuclear status in peace negotiations. The poll shows a clear war weariness in Ukraine and a weak support for the new conscription law that drafts younger men into the conflict. The average age of a Ukrainian soldier is in their 40s, aiming to protect Ukraine's future generation. However, the Ukrainian army faces severe manpower shortages, leading to the modification of the conscription law. 46% of Ukrainians believe refusing military service is not shameful, indicating a significant softness in support for the war. Russian reactions to the Ukraine trial balloon of peace talks have been less than magnanimous, with Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov not committing to a peace summit. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev stated that ending Ukraine is a Russian goal, even if it takes 10 years and outlasting Western and Ukraine resolve. The polls in both Ukraine and the West seem to support the Russian strategy. The Ukrainian government must seek ways to incentivize Russia to participate in the peace talks, as there is no pressure on the Russians to end the war. The Chinese Foreign Ministry has invited Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba to visit Beijing, but President Zelensky has concluded that Ukraine must pursue peace talks due to fear of eroding support for war, difficulty in replacing battlefield losses, and perceived loss of future Western aid. This is a difficult position for the Ukrainians.